a very wet and autumnal morning. It's Saturday and um, I've had quite a productive morning. Um, I got up, I had a lovely cup of coffee with Lumi on the sofa and I read a little bit of a book and then Ali got up and we got ready. I made some fruit salad, which is something that I'm doing a lot of at the moment. Because of over the last like month, I've spent so much time out of the UK and I haven't been getting in the gym. And if you can hear anything in the background, that's just Ali getting ready. But I haven't been getting in the gym at all and my diet has just really, really suffered. So I'm used to always having fruit. Like when I lived with my grandma, we always had a big bowl of fruit in the fridge. So that's something I really want to always do at my house. So. We're now doing that, and I, so I made fruit salad this morning, and I had a lovely big bowl of fruit that looked like Skittles, it was so nice. And then we've been shooting some bits with Ali for some campaigns that he's working on, and now we're going to go shoot something else, and we are going to try and go for a coffee, because I'd like to go and get a coffee with him. And um, yes, it's just quite a chilled Saturday at the moment. The weather looks like it's brightening up now at the moment. I know this is like Lydia's weather report <laughs> that I always do. But yeah, it should be quite a nice chilled autumnal Saturday. So this is what I'm wearing on this really cold and wet Saturday. I've got my old like ASOS stripy jumper on, which is from one of my old ASOS hauls. I've got this Club Monaco skirt, which is like split like that, which is from my haul that went live on Sunday. I've got these Chloe boots, which everyone always asks about and I've never ever seen them anywhere. It's really strange, I just asked them to get them in in my size and they managed to get them and then I've never seen them. And then my Bulgari bag as well, because it's just easy to just shove stuff in and go, so don't have to think too much about that. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing, so let's get going. You look so cool in those sunglasses. <laughs> I look like o Ozzy Osmond. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm never like this unless the camera comes out and I just go like brain dead. Okay, we'll move for you, I promise. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Holding up the team. <laughs> Got Lance Armstrong behind us. <laughs> Pissing off the neighbour's kids. <laughs> so we're just on our way to get some petrol because I like to let it get right down to the red before I fill up. And then Ali's like, you need to get petrol. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then I make him do it. <laughs> So Ali's just filling the car up with petrol. You might be able to see him back there doing so. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my makeup because I've kind of changed things up a little bit since I last um, vlogged. So I don't know whether you can notice, but I've got none of my eyeliner flicks on. Um, I actually went to London yesterday uh, for meetings and I didn't wear it. That's the first time I've ever gone to London like that. I, I, it seems like such a small thing, but they're kind of like my comfort blanket. Like I've, I've just worn them for so long and now I'm just changing things up a little bit and I'm going, and well, I'm trying to go a little bit more fresh faced um, because as much as like I love watching girls slay their makeup, I can't slay my makeup. So I just like finding what works for me. So I'm just trying this out. I hope I don't look tired. I've also got a new lip combo on, which is MAC Boldly Bare. And then, <laughs> I took my seatbelt off. Sat here stationary. It's MAC Boldly Bare, the lip liner. And MAC have just released their new lip tensities and they sent me their entire range which was very very exciting so I thought that I would try them out and I've just found a color that I absolutely love it's called dough and it's kind of like a, a brownie nude this is I think this is a little bit darker than it is so I was scared to use this initially but it's really beautiful and it's really nice combined with boldly bare because it's kind of like a pinky color so if you're wondering what's on my lips that's what I have been wearing and I'm also going to be giving away the entire lip density set that's what I'm going to be doing for my 200k giveaway because I think that that's something more special than I could ever sort of afford to buy you guys so I thought that I would give away the whole range and and um, yeah, I think that's quite cool. So I'm excited to hit 200K. I haven't hit it yet, so don't start congratulating me just yet, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I will be giving away when I do finally hit it. <laughs> 
Do you know in life when you regret doing something? What do you regret? Poking my head in the back window and waving every five seconds. Where were you? Doing like, your, no doing way, your, were you? I don't think I could see you. Top little corner, have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I just played back me talking about my makeup and it's Ali poking his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all make mistakes. <laughs> this is the story of my life. I asked Ali to get me a diet Red Bull and he went to get himself one and got me the full fat one. He always gets it wrong whenever I ask him to do something for me, but now he has to suffer because he's having the full fat one. So we just randomly arrived on a rooftop in Milton Keynes and we're about to shoot uh, some bits for Ali just for his blog and stuff like that. So I am ooh, behind the camera today. Um, I'm obviously not shooting on my Olympus because I'm vlogging on it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shoot them on the Canon today. AM, hence why I look like I've been punched in the face. I'm having a quick espresso and I'm gonna go to the gym. I didn't get to finish vlogging the other day because I I don't know what it was. I think that September finally caught up on me and I just after I'd finished shooting I was just so tired and we just came home and just snuggled on the sofa. I couldn't do anything else, I was so tired. September was probably one of the hardest months of my life. It was just so full on and so intense, which meant that I guess finally you do crash. Um, I just realized I've only got one ear again. <laughs> I'm heading to the gym this morning because the knock-on effect of September is that I feel like utter crap in myself. And that's not a looks-wise, it's a feeling-wise. Like I don't feel healthy, I don't feel like I've eaten healthy enough, so I am going to the gym and I'm just gonna do a quick 5k and then probably do a little bit of weights as well. And then I've got work to do all day. Oh, I've also got to pick up a package. Oh, and also I got my new iPhone 7 Plus, which I have been learning how to use um, all of last night. And um, it didn't quite update the way that I thought it would. Like I've not been able to transfer everything from my old phone onto this one. Um, also, you need new cases, even though they're the same size, because the cameras are in a different place, so that was something I wasn't bargaining for, because I've got really nice cases for my phone. I think I've scratched my nose. <laughs> even my skin isn't as great as it usually is uh, at the moment, so I just generally feel a little bit crap. So I'm going to do everything within my power to make myself feel better, so I'm going to release some endorphins. I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday because productivity makes me feel so much better. So I'm going to have a really good day, I think. This is my gym outfit for the day. I've got some Vi Active leggings on, my Sweaty Betty vest that's just my favourite, and I've got this Matthew Williamson and USA Pro jacket, which is actually a bit warmer than my other one. And I also just love, love, love Matthew Williamson prints. So the fact that I can wear it in the gym is amazing. Um, it's such good quality as well, so I really do like this. I've just got some old Nike trainers on, which I actually want to get some new, just all black trainers. So yeah, these colorful, summery ones, um, maybe not so much. <laughs> I guess I'm ready to go and make myself feel better. So let's go and um, pound that cross trainer. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cold! <laughs> I absolutely love this season, but it's freezing. I need to get my proper coat out. Um, my car's totally frosted up at the moment, so... Oh my god, I look like crap. <laughs> I look ill. Um, but yeah, my car's completely frosted up at the moment, so I'm waiting for it to defrost before I drive. Safety first. Um, but yeah, I'm so cold. It's time for the heated seats. <laughs> Set myself aside, be the way on this trial. If you don't know the way, we can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay, waking up to another day. So I'm going to make 
myself a smoothie because I've got so much to do today. So I've got to have something quick and then I'm gonna have a bigger lunch. I've got almond milk, a fairly ripe banana and my protein powder. This is the Super Elixir protein powder, which is kind of like vegan and organic. It's uh, brown rice and pea protein. And it tastes absolutely amazing. I like this tastes better than any normal protein. It's not sickly and it's just packed full of so much goodness. And I just love the fact that it's all organic. Um, it's funny how you change growing up, isn't it? I remember when I used to put any diet crap in my body and now I love this organic stuff. So let's knock up a quick smoothie and then jump in the shower. that busy I ended up having to have a phone call with a brand and I had loads more emails than I imagined I had I always do that I always underestimate what I've got to do and then I was finally about to eat something and Ali's mum turned up so I was like I don't want to eat in front of her <laughs> so I just had some lunch and now I'm gonna have some fruit and creme fraiche which I'm just obsessed with and I'm finishing it off you remember what I made on Saturday that's all that's left. <laughs> so once I've eaten, I'm gonna tidy up because I've made the house an absolute mess, which is what I do on a regular basis. Like I just literally shove everything everywhere and then wait until the end of the day and tidy it up. But um, it's been a good day, it has been good. I do like it when it's busy, but obviously tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, so I kind of needed to get everything done today. I also look super tanned in this light. What? I've been using a new tan. I've been using the, um, I'll show you. Oh. I've been using the Sandra Pay self tan. This is the one hour express one. And again, I just use it in the, in the mornings like I usually do. And the transfer's not really very bad at all. And I love the color and it's really dark, like really dark. I am now seeing this on my body, how dark it is. And yeah, great. <laughs> I love it when it's dark. I think that's Ali is that Ali, Lumi? Is that Ali? Are you waiting for Daddy? Are you waiting for Daddy to come through the door? Yes, we are. seven o'clock and I have just ticked the last thing off my to-do list. That's everyone's Depop orders ready to go. I am so sorry if anyone's waited a while for them. I literally, I just, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I always feel like it's not okay to make it sound like I am working hard because I know that a lot of people don't think that people on YouTube do any work at all and it's funny because it's seven o'clock and I'm still working and when I worked in an office I would never have still been working at 7 p.m. five o'clock on the dot I would be out that door so I do work hard but I did actually schedule in some time today to relax and um, that's something that I really want to do I want to relax a little bit more in the evenings and um, not overwork myself because as much as I love working I also love being sane and um, yeah so I've been scheduling in some time to read a little bit more because I absolutely love reading and I've got books mounting up by the side of my bed so these are all books that I want to read I mean I've started reading um, the life-changing magic of not giving a fuck but it's um, it's a little bit difficult to get into so I'm reading a different book that's downstairs at the moment but these two I really really want to get through so now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light a candle I'm gonna get a blanket and I'm gonna spend the next half an hour to an hour just reading and I'm going to enjoy every single minute of it.
myself aside Be the way on this child If you don't know the way It's so nice to just sit on the sofa and chill, like just relax. Oh, I can't tell you how good it feels. I've been reading um, Bloom by Estée Lalonde. I, I don't actually know Estée, but her book arrived and I was sort of, I don't know, like I just, I was intrigued. So I read the first few pages um, whilst I was having a bowl of fruit the other day. And before I knew it, I was on page 103. And now I can't put it down. It's so beautifully written and I feel like we're the same person. I feel like we feel the same way about animals and the way that she felt about friendships and the way that she felt about her grandma. Like, it's just so lovely to read and um, I have no doubt that I would have finished it very, very soon because now that I'm having this new relaxation, it's um, gonna be part of my everyday. So I hope that I'm gonna get through a lot more books now. Alice is sleeping upstairs, so I'm going to leave this vlog here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're almost at 200k. I'll see you in my next one. Night! This night will be okay. We can